this point in the summer, they're doing the longer runs, they're doing the longer swims. Because they're at the point where you trust them enough to get out there and like use the skills they learned as season to use water entry and exit. We now have good relationships with our kids and they've had some conditioning, so now we can really start to push them a little bit. You're combining things. Today we did an Ironman, so we did a paddle run and a swim. It's a huge part of the program it's for kids to come out feeling proud of themselves, feeling like they accomplished something. We went out to do the peer orientation. It was pretty radical. Which is where we sit under the pier for a little bit. We took our kids through the pier all the way out to the T of the pier. We wanted to get them comfortable and familiar with the currents that go through the pier, how to safely block themselves with their fins from barnacles or incoming pier pilings. Really on the other. And that way I can just push off. I'm not gonna get myself hurt. We learned about how the structure of the pier was built and how when the wave's out there, it kind of rocks it. The water was super clear and we all had a good time. They're now building this a little bit more of an awareness. They want to do more lifeguard oriented things. Swim around the pier, see what the pilings look like. Let's go for some diving, let's look for sand dollars. They want to be a little bit more curious and interested in what's going on below the surface as well as above the surface, which is much more on track with getting them ready for A's and lifeguards in the future. I love field trips because in Newport Beach, we lifeguard six miles of beach and every mile is a little bit different. Up at the 18th Street field trip, it's right next to our headquarters. So it's the first time the kids get to go in the headquarters. Get to see a totally different part of the beach. They get to see the second pier, the Newport Pier. Today we're at 18th Street. This is known as the point. We're showing the kids just another area where waves break differently. And you say point, we're going to point. Point is world famous, really. And you get to show the kids point and say, this is what it means. You can take them on the Newport Pier and show the shape of the coastline. It shows them why there's waves at one part of the beach and not waves on the other. And again, getting in the water up there, then being away from shore break is really fun. They get to kind of take some slow rolling whitewash. They get to go out a little bit further. And so it's kind of fun to diversify their beach, uh, their beach activities. Then we just showed them the Ben Carlson statue, how it's important and how he's a hero to all our lifeguards and a lot of our junior guards. And then for the rest of the day, we're just gonna boogie board, have fun with the kids and they're gonna get a ton of water time. Here at 40th Street. Here in D1, we have to deal with the groins, so we got the kids out. We went with our groups, sat the kids down, explained what the groins are, their purpose, and then we had the kids swim around the groins, right shoulder, run to another groin, and we did that three times. After that, we gave them an opportunity to go out with their uh, boogie boards they brought. and just experience waves that break a little bit further out. So it's just a great experience for them to have their own free swim and free time to do as they please in the ocean.
is 68th Street right now. We've been surfing and we were working on how to get in and out of rip currents. These kids go to the beach, right? They live here, they're on the beaches here all the time and we want them to be able to show up to any beach within Newport and feel comfortable to get in the water. So something about Division One is that there's always rip currents and they're always popping out. It's a huge step to like recognize a rip current, especially for our future lifeguards. If you're on shore, it looks kind of like brown and mushy and it's very choppy. I and mean, then you can sometimes see the water pulling outwards. Brought about six kids out at a time with each of us. We went out into a rip current and it pulled really hard. We're just gonna let the current take us down the beach. It's swirling and chopping, and as I'm talking, we've already drifted another 10 yards. So we just let ourselves get pulled out, and then we swam to parallel to shore to get out of it, and then we went back in. We were learning if we want to be a lifeguard to get out of it properly, and got to really feel like what it's like to be stuck in one. It's just preparing them to be you know, safe beachgoers, so they know what to recognize and to look for whenever they go to a different beach, whether that's in Newport or outside of Newport.